well, what's human flourishing? It, let, let, let's adopt a, a simple definition that it's realizing our potential as human beings. And of course, that means entering into, fully into what it means to bear the image of God. So what role does sex play in bearing the image of God? It means that we love like he loves. And we express and bear his image by becoming lovers as he's a lover. And we've noted that, that there are two ways in which God is a lover. He is passionate in his love, but he's also faithful in his love, which makes Christian marriage the icon, the, the great symbol on earth of the kind of love that God has. And so a couple that enter into marriage are pointing to, witnessing to the kind of love that God has by the kind of love they show to one another. Equally, and I want to underscore the word equally, a single person who abstains from sex outside of marriage equally honors what marriage means. The person in a marriage says, I'm not going to have an affair with my secretary because I'm bound to my wife. The person outside the marriage says, I'm not going to have a one night stand because for me, love something bigger than that. It means something more than that. Now, equally, both of those two people, married or not, witness to the meaning of marriage as the symbol of God's faithful love. So this is about flourishing as both a single person and a married person. What we do with our bodies witnesses to the kind of love that God has. And one of the wonderful truths of the Bible is that God has etched into human flesh the gospel itself. So that when what we do with our bodies preaches the gospel. When we're faithful with our bodies, whether we're married or not, we show the kind of love that God has. And when we show the kind of love that God has, we're bearing his image. When we bear his image well, we're flourishing. And of course, the other way in which sex leads to flourishing is that sex is ordered toward having children. But again, whether we're married or not, we all belong to families. Everybody born into a family of, of some kind. And in the Christian vision, our individuality, our importance as individual human beings, of course, witnesses to our individual rights. But more than that, it calls us to duties, duties to one another. And one of our great duties as a Christian is to support families, because it's in stable families that we prosper as human beings. Kids love stability. They flourish with stable families. And so whether we're single or married, by support, so single or, or, or married, by supporting married in our marriage, in our chastity or in our faithfulness, we are supporting the institution that sits at the heart of stable families. And you know, in England today, 50% um, of kids reach the age of 16 with both parents in the home. The other half have experienced some degree of abnormal family life in that sense of not having both parents. That is a, that's a tragedy for our society, that degree of family instability. And we contribute to human flourishing when we support strong families, by supporting strong marriages, by bearing God's image faithfully and well.